camps is, is well organised by the GA. There's over well nearly 100,000 children uh, partaking in cool camps every year. Uh, we hope to bring it to life to increase the participation, to make it more aware and make it more accessible to Irish families. There will be full local and regional publicity and press available to encourage families to participate in the GA cool camps this year. It provides an opportunity for young players to develop their skills in our games in a very comfortable, easy environment, well supervised with vetted coaches who have been vetted and so on. So the, the environment is good in the first place. Um, it also provides a good time during the summer months when children are off school. And clearly over the past number of years they've proved extremely popular. We reckon that over the past six years 450,000 children have participated. So clearly they're popular and, and, and highly regarded. Having three kids myself at home, um, it, it's so important to get kids out and get, get them active uh, and getting involved in team sport as well. And the cool camps have been hugely successful over the years and they take so many boxes for kids. You know, they, they make new friends. Uh, uh, they learn probably a new sport for a lot of kids coming in at six years of age. They probably wouldn't have come in and have played football or hurling of, of any sorts. And uh, for the kids that are probably playing at home, they're learning new skills. Uh, you know, there's uh, excellent trainers and coordinators involved in the cool camps, and it, it gets the, the kids an opportunity to, to be trained by probably the, the, the best trainers that are available in J circles. Kick passing, fist passing, shooting. You know, the enjoyment they get out of it, and obviously seeing some county players coming out. Uh, it's good for them as well. I think the, the most important and the most encouraging factor for Leases this season in the, in the top flight has been that we've been competitive in every game. I think if you look at the you know the ratio wins to loses, you wouldn't be happy, certainly not. Uh, but I would say I'm very happy with how the team have been competitive in all but one game. Well, you know, we were competitive in every game bar the first half of the court game where they got a run on us and got us up a serious lead. Uh, defensively, we, we were uh, found out that, that uh, big time. Uh, we've made a few adjustments since that. We're still in with a, with a shout for we're staying in Division 1. It obviously comes down to the last weekend's uh, relegation dogfight almost. Um, a few few teams still involved and um, you know we're going to use that as brilliant you know, as preparation for the championship, preparation for Longford the 20th of May. So what better preparation than being in a relegation dogfight battle, a must win knockout scenario. So um, it'll hopefully have us in good stead for Longford. The cool camps has always been a big thing in uh, Owler to Balloch. Uh, we'd always, it, w it would be one of the, the biggest camps probably in Wexford because there'd be a huge interest in, in Hurland and Camogie in the local parish. So there's always huge numbers. And from when I was a young, young girl myself, I, I always went there each year. And you know, then I went on to coach in the camps as well. So I suppose you know, it's, it's always a highlight in the summer for the kids.